Look, speaking of Meghan, Meghan Markle's father, Thomas Markle, has spoken out this week and publicly begged the Duchess of Sussex to allow him to meet his grandchildren. What did Thomas Markle have to say? Right, so Thomas Markle, you know, we haven't heard from him in a little while. At one point he was doing a lot of tell-all interviews, talking to the press all the time, um, 60 Minutes, you name it, but he really has quietened down lately. Um, but again, he's come out, he's spoken to the Daily Mail and he's given a tell-all. He's said that he is sad, you know, he's in failing health, he's about to turn 80 um, and he's never met his grandchildren, Archie and Lilibet. He hasn't seen Meghan since before the wedding. He's never met Harry. And it was sort of one last kind of ditch effort in the media to, to beg Meghan to see him. But, you know, I kind of, I felt reading it at first, I thought, oh, you know, this is so sad. This is a man, you know, in the twilight of his life wanting to reconnect with his daughter. But then you sort of look at some of the things he did and I kind of, I kind of can relate to Megan, you know, mm. I, there's a lot of discussion now around like cutting off a toxic parent and, and the, um, you know, and the awkwardness of it. But, um, yeah, I can, I can understand. I don't think this is going to move Megan either way. I don't think this would change anything for her, but it's definitely, um, sad news. I agree with you. And I'm torn on that issue too, because unfortunately Thomas Markle made some pretty big, uh, big mistakes mm. and he made them publicly and unfortunately th those are the consequences so and yeah and not only that i mean he's also supported you know his half his other si sorry excuse me his other children you mm. know megan's half siblings and they've been absolutely terrible to megan so you know from her point of view i'm sure she probably looks at her half siblings and her father and just says i'm out yeah, look, we've been, you know, I've been so critical of Megan, as many of us have, and, she, you know, she hasn't, she's far from perfect, but I do feel for her on this one because it's pretty awful to have family drama played out uh, in the public. But then again, she has no issue with, uh, you know, rubbishing the royal family and <laughs> making money from it from Netflix. So maybe true. that runs in the family. <laughs> look, finally, royal fans were delighted to see Princess Catherine's mother, Carol Middleton, mm. make an appearance at Royal Ascot recently with Prince William. What do we know about Carol's relationship with her son-in-law? Right, well, this was quite a heartwarming moment. Um, Carol Middleton is, is sort of the matriarch of the Middleton family. Um, she's very much in the in in William's life a, a mother figure. Obviously, William and Harry lost their mother at an early age, um, and I think William's always been drawn to the sort of normalcy of the Middleton family. They're a very close knit family. They're a little bit more down to earth. I think he likes that. But on the flip side, um, and seeing someone like Carol at Ascot, it shows that they're also very comfortable in those you know royal circles as well. Yeah. So I think that um, Carol Middleton's really a touchstone for the Prince of Wales of of normalcy and grounding, and and as the grandmother to his children. But also, I think that they have quite a strong bond between them.